most powerful man in the world. You are? You're the most powerful man in the world, and I have been naughty, but I'm in the middle of something, okay? Angie, I'm talking about the President of the United States. George W. Bush is giving a speech at the factory. I'm meeting the President, Angie! Oh, my God. Why is he coming to Powers Aviation? He's campaigning for more defense spending, and half the factory's Latino. We're desirable now. <laughs> what day we put a Latino in the White House? It'll still be white, but with, like, blue trim. <laughs> Little ceramic ducks in the front yard. Yeah, and every morning, the president will drop by the paint store and pick up his secretary of state, Chato. <laughs> this is so exciting. I can't wait. I'm going to meet the president of the United States. No, no, no. This is just for us workers. And there's some bad news, too. Since I'll be on camera behind the president, the Powers Brothers want me to look more respectable. They're making me cut my hair. <laughs> What am I going to hold on to? Uh, Not my lunch. For 15 years, I had to keep my hair short so my head wouldn't get sucked in the punch press. But I'm a manager now, and this hair says I play by my own rules. I might play guitar, you don't know me. Honey, that's okay, because you know what's sexier than a guy with long hair? A guy with short hair who's going to meet the president. <laughs> Now, you're talking about me, right? Hey, as long as you're getting things cut, why don't you do something about that skid mark on your chin? I'll shave mine when you shave yours. I better go make an appointment with my man Lionel. Oh, hey, hey, don't call this barbershop. It's closed down. He's cutting hair over at my beauty salon now. Oh, great. Now I gotta sit around La Casa de Cofiers and listen to old bats talk about how I, Eric Estrada, he still looks good. I... Do. That hides blemishes. Oh. You got anything that'll hide 30 years of smoke and tequila backsplash? <laughs> the lumbery paper bag? <laughs> oh, come on, I need some new makeup. You know, the president's coming. You don't care about the president. Oh my god. You've got a man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> His name is Randy. He works the forklift at the factory. Is it serious? Would I be asking you about this heart pain if it wasn't? <laughs> Penny, I am so happy for you. I think it's great when two people your age... My age? <laughs> I don't think so. Randy is 42. I don't want some old guy where foreplay is somebody yelling out, Claire! <laughs> If anybody's going to get paddled, it's going to be me. <laughs> well, the heart wants what the heart wants. <laughs> and, and George is okay with this? Hey, you know what? He doesn't know. Benny, what? you better tell him. Why? I don't need his permission. He never asked me about any of the girls he dated. I didn't like any of those tramps he brought home. <laughs> Before you. <laughs> Do I look good or what, eh? You look like the pit boss at an Indian casino. <laughs> Kids, get out of here! Where did you get an American flag tie? Oh, I borrowed it from one of my buddies at work. He's a Sikh. He keeps it in the locker in case it's a terrorist attack. 